Hey everybody, welcome to Hear Us Out. I'm Patrick. And I'm Paul. And we're talking about wrestlers turned actors. A lot of you haven't noticed that the biggest star in the world right now didn't start out as an actor. More to come. So, we do uh, videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm GMT, so check them out and uh, go check out the library of movies or shows that we also do. Yeah, hit that video section, wherever it is, if you're watching on the PC, up there somewhere. Um, yeah, so everybody in the world loves The Rock. Yes, Dwayne apparently. Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because he gets all of the jobs. Um, there's no point in saying that you want to cast somebody in the movie of your life because they've already probably signed Dwayne The Rock Johnson to do it. And that applies to men, women and children. Um, I'm surprised he didn't play Stephen Hawking when Stephen Hawking passed. It's like The Rock was probably second choice. It just it just feels like he gets every job. That was a, that would be a difficult casting. I don't know, the man has range. <laughs> um, the reason we're talking about this is because a lot of people forget that he actually started off as a wrestler. The irony of that is that people still call him The Rock. And it's not like most actors start off with a nickname like that. Yeah. Um, in fact, most actors would, would kill for that kind of brand recognition, I'd say. But yeah, uh, he's not alone. He's not the only one. This started a long way, way, way back. Um, so we were just we were kicking this around and we realized back in the early days of wrestling, uh, when wrestling wasn't as big or mainstream as it is now, it was people like Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant was in one of my all-time favorite films, The Princess Bride. He's a very, very large man. And he was cast because he's a very, very large man. Yeah. And that, that character really, he's like part giant or something like mm. that, isn't he? Yeah. So Andre the Giant, as his name would suggest, got cast as giants. That was he, that's his way of breaking out from wrestling to, to acting. Also, fun fact, because I love throwing them in there. Did you know that Sam Beckett, the Irish playwright, lived in France and drove Andre the Giant to school? Trust me, look it up. I know it sounds made up, but yeah, Sam Beckett and Andre the Giant were friends. That's a weird, like, dinner party, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of just like, I didn't with the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Andre was as big. Uh, well, no, he, he pretty much was big, small. Anyway, big, small. So Andre broke out because of his size. But then there were, there was a, a transition period to where wrestling became like the WWF. It was a big thing. It became very very popular around the world and they tried to make their own stars into stars yeah so you had um you had people like rowdy roddy piper who actually could act and did a film called they live and a few others um best line in the world he got to say i'm here to chew bubble gum and kick ass and i'm all out of bubble gum oh what a line like a lot of people might know that from the Duke Nukem uh, games, but that's where the original where the original line comes from. I didn't even know that was in Duke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the big star wasn't really Rod Rowdy Roddy; it was Hulk, uh, Hulk Hogan, not Hulk. The Hulk. Yes, it's a Hulk. You know his wrestling career, his yeah. amazing wrestling career. <laughs> yeah, he would be. He would be pretty much good. Bruce Banner undefeated forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. Hulk Hogan, he he was their man that they wanted to make a star. Yeah, he he came into to a lot of kind of like um, there's a, there's uh, the the what is it the Babysitter Bodyguard film? What's oh, that yeah, called? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But then there was like he was also in Rocky Three and stuff. Um, so he was he was in quite a lot of stuff, but he didn't really break out too well. No, they even tried to push him as far as they had like a TV show, uh, Paradise Island, or whatever that was. The he was like the Tropic Thunder, I think it was called. Uh, yeah, real night boat. If there's a Simpsons reference, if yeah. anybody wants it, I remember. Yeah, he did have a he did have a boat, and you know it was like yeah. red red lettering for the name, and then there was a yellow boat. It's like Miami Vice Hulk version. Um, so they really did when it was the big WWF. They really did try and make their star a star. Problem is, uh, Hulk Hogan not a great actor. Sorry, dude. Just that's why it didn't work out. Well, then things transitioned. Things did change later on. Honourable mention, obviously, to everybody screaming, what about Jesse Ventura and Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Running Man and Predator? Again, very quotable, brilliantly quotable lines. Yeah. Um, but Jesse was great a voice as Jesse, the body Ventura had. Not an actor that was going to have huge amounts of range. No, 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 not at all. Like, he was perfect for Predator and perfect for, for Running Man because in yeah. Running Man, he just played like a one-dimensional psycho. Yeah, which, you know... Talk about typecasting, there yeah. you go. He went on to be governor of somewhere as well. Jesse, fair play to you, great life and all that, but you're not going to be um, 
Tom Hanks is not sitting there going, I wonder if Jesse's going to take the oh role. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, but then the big change happened because you had um, you had the advent of the Vin Diesels of this world, the um, Jason Stathams. So you had the return of the action star uh, with a bit of heft and a bit of fighting skill. Yeah. And around all of that time, the WWF, because that wrestling part clashed with the World Wildlife Federation, yeah. had to change their name to the WWE. And they chose E for entertainment. And that really does coincide with once they recognized they were entertainment, I think their stars or their, their performers were more accepted as, as able to break out into movies. Yeah, like because then you have the rise of, of like... Uh, Pazista and stuff like that. Yeah. So like, you know, who came out of that kind of WWE entertainment kind of broke out. Yeah. Like, that's only recent as well. And, uh, like, The Rock, give back to Dwayne for a second to give him his dues. We're not going to talk too much about The Rock because everybody always has. And he's on TV behind you right now, probably. And fair play, great guy. Um, but he did open a lot of doors. And he did, as you put it, he did have to go through some pretty rough films yeah which is yeah which we compare it to one of the other other wrestlers that we'll talk about and mm. um, yeah he he went through like you know the the uh what is it which mountain um oh, yeah uh some nanny films that he like bodyguard nanny Tooth films fairy, Tooth whatever fairy whatever was, yeah. as well i think as well so like yeah he went through some kind of like you know crap movies and then kind of i think as you were saying earlier kind of got in with the Vin Diesel and, and Statham with the Fast and the Furious stuff. Yeah, he, he really, he's he has turned his career into something mega and it helped open the door for, I suppose, the next two, the last two guys we're going to talk about, which is Dave Bautista. Uh, to me, he will be my Drax. I have always said that. I don't want them to recast Drax. Hashtag. Yeah, Bautista is my Drax. Um, but you've, you've also got his star turn for me in um, Blade Runner. The yeah. second Blade Runner and Blade Runner uh, twenty fifty nine. Yeah, because he also yeah because he was he was he, he was a very short period of that or part of that um, film right at the start. But uh, there's the short films as well that he's in, and he's really really good in that one. Like mm-hmm. he's really good in that short period. That uh, piece like he can act. Like the Dave Bautista has surprised everybody, and I, I I don't know a whole lot about wrestling, but I'm getting the sense that nobody thought Dave Bautista was going to be the next uh, Dwayne Johnson when it came to transitioning. Um, so much so that I think he kind of took a break from wrestling rather than retired mm. um, to go into acting. So he has, for me, he's he's made it. Dave Bautista is a recognizable person. John Cena is the other guy who is trying to do The Rock again. I think it's kind of harder for him in some ways because I don't think he has... I, I don't know if he has the same natural star power just to look at him from a distance. He showed up in Trainwreck, with, uh, which was the first of Amy Schumer's movies. And I thought, oh, that you know, he can be funny. Fair yeah. play to that guy. Uh, but since then, I don't think his career has really taken off the way he would have wanted. No, I think he's. I think the the biggest movie that he's been in so far to note is probably the Bumblebee movie. Yeah, he was in that the Transformer spinoff. Yeah, so like, but the other ones are are like you know those kind of mid range teenage kind of funny, funny kind of movies yeah. things. So he hasn't broken out of those yet, which like Dwayne did. Yeah, and like he's he's done his marine film, so he's done his I'm I'm muscle. He's doing the kind of the kid stuff. In fact, he's got a movie coming out, which I think is a Nickelodeon movie, which looks like it has an all star cast. So a lot of people who uh, owe money to or <laughs> owe, owe contract, I shouldn't say money, have have contract ties are showing up in that movie. Um, so he yeah he isn't really he hasn't broken out. Is that because he doesn't have a cool name like The Rock? I don't know how wrestling really works. Is Would John Cena be better if he was Stone Cold Steve Austin? Because <laughs> mm. it didn't work out for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Our other honourable mention, who I personally really liked in um, Grown Ups 2. He had yeah. a really nice turn as a, as a hard guy, um, who then had to turn to, into a, a softer guy with some understanding. And I thought he played it beautifully. I liked him in... He was in The Expendables, but he was also in The Longest Yards, the remake with... Uh, Adam Sandler. That's right. He was he was a good character, kind of like you know as much as you can, because you have a lot of kind of tough, you know, want to be action action hero kind of guys yeah. in that. But they were good. They were he was funny in it. He's the the Steve Austin, the Stone Cold character. That guy, he is Texas hard ass, and he's very very good at it. Like very good at it. So, 
I, I don't think he should change to try and get some acting jobs. He's as well to make his, his living out of who he is, I think. But it's one of those things where it's like, uh, Dwayne found his movie mm-hmm. kind of thing. Is it? Is it that? And, and so does Batista with, with Drax kind of showing that, you know, he has an interesting kind of range and stuff. Because he's also done a couple of other movies, kind of smaller movies. Mm-hmm. And that one about the disease that hits New York, I can't remember the name. It was a very small film. Um, but like, yeah, so... Is it that Cena and Cena hasn't found his movie yet? He hasn't found his his breakout role. Maybe because, and I think possibly having his gateway into it be what was an essentially an offbeat adult comedy in Trainwreck is maybe not the conventional thing. If he'd started off with maybe a few action films and then doing a few kids films and maybe then getting his serious chance mm. uh, to show range, I think maybe he showed range a little too early. You never know. Maybe that's it. Because I think yeah. it surprised everybody when they realized The Rock had charisma and could apply it to acting. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Jumanji Two is testament to how much The Rock can can really affect things. Um, Rampage, not so much. Uh, yeah, let's not get into bad rock films because there are plenty of good ones. Uh, I will say this much though: wrestlers turned actors. It's something that until we started talking about it, I had not considered it. That The Rock is the highest paid, most bankable movie star in the world. And I forget that he came from something completely outside acting. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I don't... Is wrestling that far in certain respects to it? No, well, yeah, yeah, I should so, like, probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I'd agree. Like, it's, 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 it's probably not so diverse as probably the full-fledged kind of acting that they... That, but it's It's, it's a, a lot of acting, yeah. Yeah, so like, I don't know. It's. It seems to me that it's. It's an interesting kind of crossover, but not a, like not enough that I'd be just like, oh, I see why they came. Yeah. Oh no, I have thing. massive respect for their abilities, uh, acting and as athletes. Like, there is no doubt that these people are theatrical, incredible entertainers, and you know, actors. Uh, I guess I'm. I'm more surprised just the way the industry is with so many actors trying to make it, that. Yeah, that that's the way it goes. Strangely, I now don't know anything about female wrestling, uh, other than a film I watched called "Fighting with My Family," which was really good and interesting. Um, I don't think, and I could be wrong about this. I don't think there have been any big breakout female wrestlers that have become actors, but a couple of UFC people have. Yeah, Gina Serrano and uh, Ronda. Ronda Rousey. Because um, she was in, she was in one of the Fast and the Furious films. Mm-hmm. She was in one of those. Um, she was in one of those uh, what are they called the Entourage films as well oh right um, so yeah she's in a couple of films so yeah it's weird that maybe the UFC is where that that end of things is coming from now because I guess I again unfortunately don't know enough about wrestling but it seems like the UFC uh, was more in an ascendant uh, in more of the ascendancy for um, uh, female fighting because it was pretty much neck and neck between men and women as far as my awareness of UFC went mm. so yeah Think about it. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, anything more? No. Like I just said, it's kind of this interesting that we it was, we started discussing about The Rock and then it kind of spread from there going like, what other what other wrestlers have made it or started and yeah. been, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah. And I, I don't know who your favorite is, but I'm, I'm still always going to go back to my big soft spot for Andre the Giant, Princess Bride. Always have my heart. Yeah. yeah. Like, just a nice person. Yeah, also fantastic film. So if you haven't watched it, Stop watching us. What are you doing? You should be watching Princess Bride. That's not good YouTube don't, etiquette. Don't know to stop at the end of this. At like, the end of this. And you know, when you've watched all our other doing? videos. I know, I'm terrible. All right, I've been ruining things and I'm Patrick. And I'm Paul. And he's going to throw me off the top rope. We'll see you next time.